the number line and coordinates. We've talked about how numbers are ideas that stand for amounts. Number lines are like a map showing the arrangement of numbers and how they relate to each other. The distance between one number and the next has to be the same for the whole number line. And whenever we measure things, we're using this idea about numbers. Now for some math vocabulary that'll help us talk about these ideas and more complicated ones when we're doing algebra. The numbers on number lines are called coordinates. Each of these numbers is a coordinate. What are the biggest coordinates shown on each of these lines? 10, 18, and 1007 are the greatest coordinates on these lines. Okay, another thing people do to, to show ideas in math is to use a letter as a label. Like coordinates, we'll see a lot of this in more advanced math. Right now, we'll practice with some puzzles. What coordinate goes with the letter K? That's right, four. That's not much of a puzzle, though. What if I took away some of the numbers? What coordinate would go with M? That's right, eight. Now let's mix things up a little more. What's the coordinate that matches Z? That would be 31. What about Q? We have to count by ones since that's the unit. 31, 32, 33. Can we fill in the coordinates on this line? We have two of them. If we count through 17, 18, 19, we can see the unit distance is 1. So what coordinate would go under B? Hmm. What about L? And we need to go backwards to find C. What coordinate would that be? Here they are. So wrapping it up, number lines have coordinates like the five. Our unit distance has to be the same. And we can label coordinates with letters. So the M would correspond to eight. There's still a little more thinking to do with number lines. We'll get there.